Hey, what's going on, guys? I stumbled onto something that's really cool. Um, I'm gonna jump right into this video. Let me turn the sound down. So, what happened was, I was frustrated with the practicing because I was just like, let me just skip to the race, but you need to practice the level of your car. So, what I've noticed is if you go into the assist and make it to where everything is driving itself like my hands I'm not even touching the controller and like if you have full assist everything it drives for you it complete the three lap time it it competes the fastest lap and everything you still level up your car but now the key is is when it says press the right button on the keypad to finish practice don't finish practice let let it keep running let it keep doing this thing and it'll level up the car for you that way you can go do something else you can go grab a drink you can talk to your girl you can mess around on youtube you can do whatever you want while your car is leveling up for you now when practice ends you can go in and upgrade your car like i'm only on i believe this is the i want to say the fourth third or fourth race of the season and I'm already at car level 18 now keep in mind this is where your estimated fuel laps and your tire wear brake wear all this stuff will take effect when you go race beyond the practice point because when you just do the three laps nothing really affects it but yeah, this is actually pretty cool because now I don't really have to sit here and drive the car all through practice. I could save my energy or whatever for the actual race, let the car level up on its own. So I thought this was a pretty cool, pretty cool feature for those of you that just only want to race, but yet you want to be able to upgrade your car before every race. But yeah, it's it's because at first when I did. Because when you first start the game, um, you're just going to do the three laps. You're going to be eager to race and all that other stuff. And you're going to be like, I went through a full series and my car just barely made it to level 11. Now it's time for me to switch out my switch out my uh, cars for the next circuit race. And I just spent all that time leveling up that last car. Now I got to start all over again. At least this way... You get to enjoy the racing aspect. Um, you get to... You get to just... I mean, just... Conserve your energy, really. Because, I mean, your time is valuable, so... I know the practices can be annoying. You just want to skip through them, but... Yeah, I did all this to my car just by letting it run itself. Just let the practice run out. Um, just before the time expires, you hit finish practice, and yeah, my car's just leveling up before I head into the next race. But yeah, this is only my second car, and for those of you, if you have a uh, Game Pass, you can sign up for uh, Game Pass. You can sign up for Game Pass to, uh... Oh, shit. I'm over here hitting rewind buttons and everything. Right, let me see. Yep, I, hit, I hit the camera by mistake. I like the outside view. No, I dropped the controller, so I was trying to figure out how to get out of it, because it kept vibrating. But yeah, I got two minutes left. Car leveled up to 18. 
And yeah, I'm just waiting for this to end. That way I, I can show you guys exactly exactly what I did. See, look, leveled up to 19. I mean, if I want to steer this thing, I can hit the arrow. Like, I'll hit the... Let me see. Let me, hold on. So look, I'm going to hit to the right and drive it all the way over. Like, you can control it if you want. But it's not fully assist. Like it, it can it corrects itself for you. So if you want to run off the road, it'll correct itself. So that's what I'm saying. Just let this thing do the practicing for you. Let it level up the car. You get, you get the same. For me, it looks like you get the same points whether the computer's doing it for you or not. So it's like might as well just let the computer do it. So yeah, we got a minute left. I'm just gonna squash this one right now. I'm gonna hit finish practice. And I'll show you my settings. All right, so you go down to settings. I believe it was settings. Drive assist. So what you want to do is I had the full racing line, fully assisted, assisted throttle. That way you don't even have to hit the gas. All these on, make it to where you don't even have to touch the controller. Like, and then you have your traction on, your stability, automatic shifting. Then you're good. The car is just going to run itself. So just make sure all these are on. Now that, since I'm going to jump into race, I'm going to actually after this, turn all these off. Um, I don't, when I'm running, I do partially assisted throttle. I do unassisted because I want to be able to drive it. Steering, I do normal. So yeah, I just set everything back down so I can drive it now. Alright, so let's get out of here. Save changes. Go up to event. But if we go to car, well, all the, I would say all the upgrades we just got will take effect after we finish this race. But, yeah, for the most part, that is pretty much it. I always start at the back of the grid because this is the unique thing. The money you get is going towards your next car. Your upgrades that you have on the car go towards it's different you're not spending money on car parts because the rewards you get for leveling up your car is what you use to buy car parts so you're constantly saving money to buy the cars you actually want later on which is awesome but let's see i like to start at the back just to get the most amount of money i can just by hitting a podium and yeah that that's pretty much how I've been doing this video, but I will make another video shortly. Actually, let me go ahead and pause. Actually, no, I'm going to make another video shortly. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.